What is up everyone, it is George from GeoPCs and today we're back with another video and I thought I'd take this opportunity with this computer here to do my repair diagnosis series. So as you can hear, this is what the computer sounds like turned on. So that's either the RAM issue or a video card. So what we're going to do is we're going to diagnose that and see if we can get the screen to post and stop the beeping. So I'll get my tripod and set it You've been on my way since day one. I've been every day since summer. The only thing I'm missing, only thing we dread in is losing you. I'd rather be some stay one. I didn't need all the truth. But in every god you're missing, I find a demon deep inside my mind. Look at that, why are they putting that type of... Well, they've got a, a data RAM sticks and I don't like them at all. Look at that, there's a lip on that. Are they two different... The RAM's not seated properly. The, ra the RAM was not seated properly. That, I've just fixed that issue. The RAM was not seated, the RAM by the looks of it, <coughs> sorry everyone, it's DDR4 but they tried having it like, they had it that way, so where that line is there, it wasn't matching up, so it wasn't even plugged in, and this isn't even seated correctly either, so someone's already been in here and tried to, um, I don't know what we're going to do is, we're going to, Reseat that ram in. There we go, that was seated. Where else are we going to put this one in? Oh, come on. Alright, let's give that a go. Let's see if it posts. Oh, it makes a beeping noise. If so, that was the easiest video, but apparently as well, they're saying they got blue screen in, so I'm not going to record the process of a blue screen yet, because that should be another video, but let's see if we have post. Just because of one RAM stick, that's what happens. Right, I think the computer's trying to <laughs> do itself back again. See what happens. So my screen might not turn on now. The thing is with these, there's no post lights, which is really annoying. Right, so what I've done is I've disconnected the graphics card, plugged it back in, make sure it works. I don't really know what company actually built this computer, there's no markings on it. It's probably from Cooler Master's website. I oh, know, Cyber Power. Oh, there's your issue. Cyber Power. So if you guys don't know what I mean by Cyber Power, this is probably like the third or fourth computer I've had into the workshop to fix a Cyber Power computer. Because they either use cheaper parts, like a pallet graphics card, which is an RTX card, the one fan one from Pallet, hate them, and a data RAM sticks. Why? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to give it another go. It boots up. There's no error sequences, um, but there's no post onto my monitor. So that's why I've unplugged it and plugged it back in. So the only thing we can try is just boot it up again after doing that and see what happens. I'm giving it a bit of a clean as well, just in case uh, it overheats or anything. So I always make sure to clean the thing, but this whole system will have a clean anyway. Um, so again, I'm just going to give it another, and let's see if it boots onto there, which I don't know if it will or not. They're saying it's blue screening as well, so we'll see if we can get that out once it posts itself. But sometimes this monitor can be a bit weird, and I sometimes have to unplug the cable directly from 
the monitor and plug it back in because I have that many computers coming into the shop with different driver updates and stuff and some computers decide not to want to work with this I don't I really 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 don't know why but um, there's no errors so the only thing we could try doing is again well, the first thing we could do is turn it on turn it back off Because I'm really hoping it does not end up being the uh, could be the cable actually. Be a bit weird. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Right. Putting this back in. If you guys haven't seen the video of me putting up these monitors, go and check video out in this corner here unless it's flipped then it'll be this corner but I'm sure it's this corner alright give it another go oh come on I might have to get my other monitor out of something I'm gonna have to get my other monitor out so in the end with all of this I had to replace the RAM as I said in the first portion of the video A data being the cheapest brand to be used in PC cases is obviously a horrendous brand and um, well they died both of them literally both are dead not even one of them worked so I replaced it with crucial unfortunately it is red but you know it, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's working RAM and it's the only RAM I had in stock it's a 16 gigabyte kit as well so it'll keep it running nice and smooth as it should be um, so yeah, the PC case is all done. I'm just gonna blow down here and get all, all those filters cleaned out. And that's done now. The next one, this is from my eBay store. Someone's asked if it posts, so I'm gonna throw that up and see if it posts and then let them know. But that's some of it for me. But yeah, so it's all done anyway. So the issue was the RAM. Uh, anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later everyone.